All right, you little kryptonauts. Let's um, let's talk about hardware. So I went to uh, buy some more of my favorite motherboards, the MSI X470 Gaming Plus Max. And I go to Amazon, of course. I just go to Amazon, right? Because I got a Prime card. I get cashback, rewards, whatever. Oh, no, they're out. What the heck? They're out. And then I uh, come over here and I see what is the prices. And you see like 169 129 It's like, oh my God, not only have they gone up from 89 they're not available. And now they're like scalping for 129 Let's see all buying options. This is a crime. Oh my God. Oh, I should have got, I mean, I did get a th two last week, but I should have just, man, I should have hoarded them. Should have bought more, but I didn't. So now I gotta find a backup or wait till they come back in stock. But I don't wanna pay anything over 100 bucks for a motherboard. Boy, oh boy. Because the, the plan was to get two of these, get the memory, get one more power supply, just have all the stuff the two cheap power supplies, ours games, 750s, two 3200 memory sticks, one per motherboard. Uh, what else? And then get the uh let's see the cpu ryzen 9 3900 but i know those are really high yet so let's go look at those real quick ryzen 9 3900x all right let's see what these are at right now as of what's the date today 28 november 2021 a good day all right oh my god there they are Oh, there's 20 left that has not moved, which is kind of a good sign because that means maybe people aren't buying them at these prices. They were higher. I think they were 579 a couple days ago. And then eBay has them as well, but then you can get them from Korea for 520. And I don't want to wait for Korea or buy something from Korea. It, I don't know. It's not worth the effort. So here we have 549. Still 20 in stock, and maybe it'll drop down, hopefully lower, because they're in stock, and it went down from 569, 79 to 549, and I'm not sure what store this is. Yeah, the AMD store. Okay, so that's a good sign. They're holding at that, pro or they're coming down from a higher price, and then they're holding at 20, so maybe they're going to realize tomorrow, Cyber Monday, that they have to drop these a little more. Something to keep an eye on, right? They're hard to get eBay is ridiculous too. You're, they're selling used ones for 540 bucks on eBay. So let's go check that out. If I can find it. All right. There's eBay. Ah, 549. This is a brand new one. So these guys here are matching. They're probably following what's going on on Amazon on the AMD store. So that's what's going on top rated seller. Let's see what he has to say. Another very bought from him. There's another guy I followed too who has a good rating. He's kind of new, so he must be getting them, getting them through a bot or something. You know, buying them through the bots and then reselling them. I guess. But I don't know if he's selling them at that price. I don't think he's getting them lower than that at a bot price. So I don't know. Unless he's getting them at 400 Because if we look at PC part picker right there. You can see Ryzen 3900, 549 Amazon seems to be the best thing it came up with. If we go to Newegg, I don't like Newegg. Some of the stuff I see is like, I hear and see is either refurbished or it's been returned or you people get the stuff and they're missing stuff or the boxes are open and it just seems like a kind of a mess at, at Newegg. You never know what you're gonna get. It seems like some of their prices are jacked up too. Case in point, Ryzen 9, same CPU we're looking at, 599, so 50 bucks higher, 50 bucks higher than even Amazon and eBay, so, and is it new or is it refurbished? It is new, so there you go. I bet he bought one. <laughs> All right, so, not interested in Newegg. I, I usually steer clear of Newegg. I just, again, it's a vibe I just experienced in the past. Not not digging the new egg new egg vibe. Uh, let's see. We did PC part picker. We did eBay at five forty nine. 
and we got eBay and it's the same thing right there and Woot so here we go here's my solution not solution here's my on an option, Amazon must have bought Woot, duh, an Amazon company. Remember the old Woot offs where you get emails and here's a special today and you go buy it. So I think they like that idea. Amazon buys Woot. You know, money can do anything, right? So they bought Woot. So they sent me the email. Hey, look at this. So here's a MSI B550 Gaming Plus Gaming Motherboard. I think I got this one. And is it factory reconditioned? 107.99. Okay, that's an option. Right, and usually if you do factory recondition, you get some kind of warranty, you know, if it breaks on the fly. But usually people return them because they were unable to figure out the right components to put on them. Or like me, they had a bad monitor, so they didn't think it was posting or booting, so they just returned it. So the board is perfectly fine in most cases, unless they submerged it in salt water, right? All right, and then we got this one. This is the B450 MSI Tomahawk Max 2 Arsenal Gaming 2nd and 3rd Gen, which is cool. And this is not bad either. You got one, two, three, four, five PCI slots. Put some splitters in there if you want to do GPU. Or, or let's look at the box. It's probably, if you look at the box, come on. Oh, there's no zoom. Oh, well. Uh, it'll tell you if it's uh, 3000 series ready. In most cases, the MSIs are. If not, you can update the BIOS, flash it, and get the latest BIOS. But the boards I got were only a couple months behind on the, on the BIOS, and I didn't even touch it. I, I was happy with it. The uh, Ryzen 9 3900 recognized right away. So it's funny. You know, it's funny about these uh, Tomahawk boxes. I always thought that was like a syringe for applying the... Uh, thermal paste. I thought, oh, they're giving me a little syringe to apply the thermal paste to the CPU. I didn't know it was a tomahawk. I'm an idiot. So it finally hit me today. Oh, hey, it's actually a tom tomahawk. So there you go. There's that option. This might not be bad. Again, it's factory reconditioned. B450, MSI. I know MSIs. I like MSIs. Let's see what other pictures we got. I like pictures. There's, there it is. Let's see what it's got. It's basic. It's very close to the 470 looking. Yeah, maybe can't hurt buying one. I, again, I I'm gonna buy boards cheap. I don't I can't. I like my 470s, but I'm not gonna pay like 40 bucks more than I was paying. Cause there will be a day when there's a bear market. No, I don't. There might be. You never know. There we go. What do you get? You get all this stuff. This might be worth it. I might buy. Let's see. Got three per customer. Let me get. I don't know. I just might buy one and check it out. And get the memory and then my only other thing i have to wait on is, is these ryzen nines this is this is amazing let's see so I, I went in i add them to my watch list you can see the little hearts i add them to my little watch list this is pre-owned at 469 this is pre-owned at 300 with five days auction you know i did a freaking auction on a on a gpu and i think some guy he wanted me to ship it to russia so i said no so then I think he made an account the same day on eBay, did the high bid. I saw it was a new fresh account, no feedback from anybody. I just said no. I, I just canceled the auction because I knew it was a scam. And if I did ship it to that address or U.S. address, whatever he had, a proxy address, they would say they never received it. And then I'd be out, whatever, 800 bucks for a 3060 Ti. You got to watch eBay, man. I, eBay does not protect the seller. You are not protected. You are a lower class person as a seller on eBay, uh, especially if you're using PayPal in any way too. PayPal hates sellers. They hate merchants. They will quickly do chargebacks against anyone that is not a buyer. So if you're a buyer, you're protected and you can be a fraudulent buyer. So I think PayPal and eBay promote that. I think they encourage not fraud, but just, they don't do much to stop it. And it's kind of annoying as a seller. Yeah, maybe they encourage it. I don't know. From my experience, I've seen bad stuff. I had PayPal. I had their PayPal credit card years ago. And it kept getting stolen. I never, it was, I never even used the physical card. They would just get the number somewhere online. Or they'd crack into the PayPal database. PayPal is sketchy. I mean, do not use PayPal. I don't trust them, man. So stay off PayPal. And eBay, like I said, with these auctions, I don't know. I was just discouraging. You wait a week the bids are up in the high 800s oh i'm gonna make money off my gpu i'm gonna sell it and make 300 bucks 
at well maybe 200 after eBay again takes their extortion tax of 13% and you maybe walk away with a couple bucks um, to buy a hamburger you know so eBay eh, I don't know but the alternative is Facebook marketplace but those those uh, those guys just don't want people to succeed either so they shut you down for selling stuff and then you got to go meet people who may knife you <laughs> you just can't win in today's world it's 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 actually kind of sketchy out there uh, I'm just a little irked at eBay but anyway we're looking at eBay we're done with our rant so um, you can go look at stuff look at this there's the Korea one for 520 you probably get it in three months because the ship will be sitting off the coast of California as they try to figure out what to do with it there's a pre-owned for 500 549 and there's one day left I mean that's ridiculous so what's gonna happen here this is a brand new one for 549 the list price on Amazon is 549 and you get free shipping now this guy's charging 15 people are just getting a little it's getting a little crazy out there all right here's a pre-owned eight dollar I mean it's just it's just high you, if you want to go pre-owned I mean it's a risk I know, let's check this out I'm just curious we're discovery mode today guys it's actually starting to get starting to get a little frustrating uh, my fear is well, I don't want to talk about my fear but it may be even getting harder to get this stuff down the road all right what's he giving me here he's giving me that is he even giving me the cooler with LED cooler okay so I'm gonna get the Wraith cooler gotta get the cooler yeah there it is Woo! that cooler is nice nice cooler look at that Ooh, better light up too yeah I see the rings there yeah it'll light up now what I do oh geez here's a problem so on eBay guys as a buyer now because you are a higher class citizen you can do anything and but then you also can be scammed so possible scamage on eBay again eBay is a wild west I don't know man eBay is sketchy trying to make money and I, I wish there was a better solution but what are you gonna do and I have facts to back up what I'm saying like I said I've been through it recently and I had a merchant account with these folks and it's just not a good place to do business with uh, eBay let's see it's a good place on load crap quickly if you don't really care about making money but look at this clown we got 475 he's a clay New York wherever that is eight bucks shipping that's kind of sketchy eight bucks shipping Usually it's free or like really realistically 15, 16 bucks a ship. And then look at this guy right here. He's got no feedback. That's a problem. You see a seller with no feedback, do not buy from him. It's a scam. You will send your money in and he'll maybe ship you an empty box or not ship you anything and you'll be scammed. You're not going to get anything back. Trust me. Uh, just stay away from sellers like this. If I click on it, you might even see when it was created. Look at this. There you go. Total fraud. Look at this. Base in the U.S. He's been an eBay member since November 25th, 21. No. No feedback. And the account is under a month old. That is trouble. I see an account under a couple years old. Do not buy. You need a guy with a lot of feedback when you're buying from him. This is obviously a scam. He's not going to sell you that. So watch out on eBay, too. It just, uh, it just, I'm almost at the point after my auction ad and now I'm trying to sell stuff. I will just go to Amazon, pay whatever they want, because at least I know they do protect you as a consumer. eBay, like I said, as a merchant, an honest merchant, you get, you get, uh, you get ro rolled over. They, they're not going to do anything to help you. And as a buyer, you can get scammed. Not as much as a seller. A buyer, you can probably go fight and try to get your money back, but they'll say, oh, I shipped it, or the guy's got your money and he's long gone. There's no way to recover it. You know, it's it's more eBay is against the seller Amazon will protect you as a buyer if someone if something comes or broken or and you maybe pay a, a luxury for that um, that safety that security and it's worth it I mean you don't know what's gonna happen you get this stuff but yeah eBay watch out for scams that's my point all right that's all I got I'm looking around new egg no eBay questionable for selling and buying but but you can buy on eBay, I'm saying, but you got to make sure the guy, the seller, has a lots of feedback and has been around at least a few years. Otherwise, you're just risking a, some stress you don't need to deal with. Just run away. And I wish eBay would catch that. They just see here's a guy dropping a $600 item on his 
second day in business or second day on the site, come on. They don't care, right? As long as they get their fees, right? All right, that's all I got. What else you guys got? 429 and Best Buy. So here is, I like this. This is what I like. Best Buy does MSRP. So Amazon 3900, third generation, I want this. But, dun, 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 sold out. So, and of course, you know about my little secret plug-in, Capital One shipping, shopping plug-in. It kind of tells you where the lower prices are. And of course, this 522 goes to the uh, South Korean place. B&H, there's 536. Let's go try that one. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. So wait a minute. We got 498. Let's go back to Best Buy. It's 429. So they're doing 70 bucks off when it ever is in stock. Got to keep an eye on that. And then we're doing B and H. They're on 498, which is MSRP, the current MSRP. The non-scalping one, and you can notify one available for 98 or 500. So I got two possibilities just to keep waiting, where I'll save uh, save from the uh, Amazon price, which is what I forget again. Oh, come on! I think it was 549. Yeah, I think it was 540. So 49, 59. There's 429. Yeah, it's 50 bucks, right? Let's say 50 bucks savings. That's a lot of money. You could buy some memory with that. All right, that's all I got. Shopping with Jim. Uh, don't just buy it if it's there, but if you see a decent price, buy it. Don't just buy the, the, the high prices because it's, sometimes it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. Just wait. Prices should come down. It's everything cyclical, right? Just up and down, up and down. Look at crypto. Crypto is coming back down, I think. Let's check her out. Oh, it's going back up. Wrong. Crypto 57439E4300. Look at that. Things jumped. How's the GUI? Let's check the GUI. 117. I hate the GUI. Hate him. Hate it. Hate the GUI. The GUI is haunting me. Last night it got down to 50. I was happy, but it, it didn't do my payout. Didn't do my payout on Ethermine. All right, that's all I got. What do you guys think? I, I, it's good to kind of film this and talk it out, and you find new things like B and H, and again that Capital One shopping Chrome plugin is gold, folks. Don't you take it? That's my secret. No, I'm just saying, go use it. It's awesome. It actually works sometimes, and you can save some money. Some is just rewards based. If you're on a certain site, you get rewards back. Eh, I just want, I just want the discount price, because it does add up in the end. 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there, boom. That's another CPU. So at least I got a couple places to keep my eyeballs on here. If these guys ever come in stock, those are not bad prices. Anything under five for Ryzen 9, I'm happy. But don't hesitate. Get them when you can. All right, go forth, do great things. I ain't got to go find that dog. I heard him barking. Rocco, where are you? All right, I'll go find him. All right, take care. I'm out. Boom.